Our sun thinks it's so special, creating the light that allows our planet to have life. Well, guess what, sun? With the right chemicals, we can create our own light. And Jackie Means is gonna show us how. We get light from our phones, our light bulbs, and if we feel it going outside, the sun. But today, we're going to create light using liquid with a little help from a science called chemiluminescence. Hi, I'm Jackie Means, the STEM queen, and today we're going to create visible light by mixing together a few chemicals. This is called chemiluminescence, which basically means emitting light during a chemical reaction. What makes these reactions special is that they don't produce significant amounts of heat, and they look pretty awesome at the same time. All I need to do this experiment is some luminol solution and an oxidizing agent. An oxidizing agent is something that introduces oxygen to a chemical reaction. Luminol solution is made up of luminol powder, water, and sodium bicarbonate. You can't buy luminol in the store, but I am a super special scientist, so I bought mine from the super special scientist store. It's online. We really don't want hydrogen peroxide to touch our skin because it's acidic and corrosive and can cause a really itchy chemical burn, which nobody wants. So my PPE, or personal protective equipment, for this experiment are gloves and goggles. Gloves, and now my goggles. And now we're ready to begin. To start this reaction, all I have to do is mix these two chemicals together. But to see what's going on, we have to dim the lights. All right, team, cut the lights. Look at that blue, it's so bright. Ah, oh, I love it. Looks like some kind of like deep sea, magical, glowing thing, it's so cool. So what's going on here? Why did it glow? You might remember that atoms have a nucleus with protons and neutrons in the center, orbited by electrons. There are different defined levels, or shells, where the electrons orbit. But when they receive a boost of energy, the electrons can jump up to a higher level orbit. But those electrons want to get back to their normal orbit. They want to go home, right? When they drop back down to their old orbit, they release that extra energy as a photon. If that photon is in a wavelength that we can see, our eyes detect it as light. For this experiment, the extra energy is provided by the chemical reaction. Heat does something similar too, like when a copper wire gets literally red hot. That's electrons giving off photons as they drop down to a lower energy orbital, just like with this experiment. Luminol is not just used for awesome science experiments like this one. It's also used by police detectives and forensic investigators because the iron in our hemoglobin reacts with luminol, so they can use it to spray and find traces of blood. But this is a safe environment, so the only blood around here is in me keeping me alive. What an illuminating, get it, <laughs> experiment. <laughs> I'm Jackie Means, the STEM queen, and I'll see you next time. Bye. If you're watching this, you must have really liked the video. Make sure you follow and subscribe and check out these other videos that are even better. No, really, I've seen this one over a hundred times.